I think everybody who wants a peek into somebody else's life truly deserves to see the raw real version of it. It's amazing to romanticize your days, especially during difficult seasons. You do need to see all of that light within little moments. But I tried to make this video 2 years ago. Like it has been extremely difficult since because I didn't want to portray a glorified version because it's far from that. Mainly because we're so invested in doing our assignments that there's no other space to do anything else. But I bring a huge lunch box filled with food to pass around the class and And everyone enjoys it. That's one of the best things about my day. Uh, also, we have amazing views from our college that sometimes helps as a visual break to de-stress. Uh, this is really important when due dates are close by. Since the supermarket is next door, it is super convenient for me to go and grab refreshments and snacks when I do need them. I got a ginger beer. Sometimes I need a sugar rush so badly. If not, I just drink a lot of water. that helps This is what I'm wearing today. It's all matchy matchy. As of late, I love wearing sort of these pieces that go very well together, especially all things white. This is the second session for the day in a different floor and our design college building pretty much has different areas and departments for visual communication, interior designing, fashion designing and many more and our lecturers encourage a sense of distinction in different spaces so we make sure that we have our classes in different places every single day um and that's really exciting. However, the 18th floor is restricted because it's a cleared out space for events but when the elevator does work when I press on it I I can't get a dose of this amazing view. Design school was so beckoning to me when I was doing A levels. Like to me, I was like, this is the place that I belong. I had this picture painted that design school is all about art and you know expressing yourself creatively. And for the longest time, I knew that I didn't want to make that investment because. You know when you're always thinking of a particular pathway you're very serious about it I thought um that I should take my time and also a lot of things were affecting at the time covid was happening and I applied for a full-time job and then all of a sudden about one and a half years just went and I needed to make a decision about what I was going to do for my higher studies so I chose part-time college but in reality if you really want to get yourself into a craft um doing it part time may not be the best thing because you're not fully present you're not fully putting all your 100% into that reality of things can be very different like even considering the first job that i ever did was being a radio presenter and i know that it looks like it's such a glam job you just have to do you just have to go and do your show and then you just get out in reality it's not so much so glamorized and we tend to put a filter on ourselves sometimes when we are on social media even when you're doing like a talk segment you can sometimes not truly portray how you're feeling in that moment this timeline in my life has shown me the reality of things and i chose to do my studies part time and i feel like when you're in design school this is something you shouldn't be doing part time at least go back home and work on your projects work on your designs and that's what i genuinely feel about interior designing it's not something you can do once a week it's something you have to constantly practice especially when it comes to 3d renderings all these new softwares that you get to learn you only become better when you practice it regularly um which was the case and i think 80% of our class dropped out so you can see like in my class there's only like five different people a lot of the people who chose to do this part time were people who were doing jobs had their own thing going on and didn't have enough time to allocate to 
you know, doing all these designs, especially because our semesters are assignment based. So every single week that we come, we have to showcase everything that we've done. So I was hanging on to my dear life and at one point, um, things got a little stressful to me too, but I knew that I had spent too much of my time here that I, I shouldn't give up on it. I'm looking at things in a very neutral point um, because I know that whatever I learned, I've, I've creatively, I've stepped up. Yeah, it's interesting because interior designing wasn't just what you thought. Again, you tend to look at things in a very glamorized, filtered perspective because naturally you want something that truly fulfills you and bring that spark. Um, so to me, what I've realized so far is the spark is brought by you and you only because the other outside factors are just beyond the reach of your control. When you work with architects, when you work with your lecturers who are architects, they come from a very real standpoint of real experience and actually knowing the industry and what happens and they don't ever want to paint a picture that is not true and sometimes it can be very frustrating because they give you a reality check every single time and they don't want you to be not taken seriously when you go into the whole thing that whole seriousness and weight kind of sucks out the joy um it can be very draining sometimes and that's what i've genuinely felt about it also our lecturers don't want us to take this whole subject lightly because they know what's in store and they don't want us to want it to be just a passion project and fade away over time but rather if you're here that means you have to take it seriously um so design school has taught me a lot of resilience and a lot about myself and uh i learned a lot i unlearned a lot my lecturer always says it's just it's not art it's also functionality technicality behind all these designs especially when you design a space there's so much that goes into it i don't know sometimes you feel like college can be a marketing gimmick like most of these colleges can be like a marketing gimmick and then there's times when you I have not figured out completely what's the pathway but there shouldn't be just one pathway too right you should you know explore different avenues because if you don't try you're just procrastinating in your head not knowing what's in store you don't know the other pathways that open up to you if you don't really try and by doing it actively you will eliminate all those doubts that you have I will always find creative ways of expressing myself in whatever pathway I choose. Six more months to go and I will get my higher national diploma, but if I choose to do this full time, I will end up getting the degree. But for me, for the longest time, like I felt like a degree is just something, a validation. I know that it's required in order for you to be employed, for you to find that security, which is what everyone wants and naturally desire. But um, to me, going on a particular path cannot be fixated on one thing that will be repetitive and be routinely because I would, I, I need change in my life. It's also, you know, finding that peace of mind when you know that this is the life that you've chosen, right? But you also but you also hustle because you know that you can only do it for a particular amount of time in your life and you will want that sense of peace within you at one stage. So I spiral a lot. I think this awakening sort of comes from again a part of you that is still not figured. And I think that part will always remain that way because if we had it all figured out, our timelines would all just collapse and we would have nothing, absolutely nothing to discover or explore. And that is not how this journey works. I think everything you do will teach you something and it's a, a never ending lesson, which is great. Um, so right now I have found that contentment in going with the flow and there were times where I would be so confused with what I chose to do with my life. I thought that I was 
not taking anything seriously or that I haven't chosen the right pathway or that all of a sudden I have to choose something else because that would fit my scenario perfectly and all of a sudden I would just wake up thinking that oh my god like I have to change my field but I have to just finish one thing first you know like in order for me to move on to the next thing or I need to get real life experience in order to know what it is really like and sometimes all these perspectives or rather what people have to say in their experience may not really be something you'd feel until you try it for yourself and that's so important because I know people that I've worked with who have a different experience in radio than myself so that's because we have such diverse characters and we are different people we all feel things very much differently so that can't be the only defining factor for you to not ever try I still get to love and enjoy this journey and just in another five months I'll be done so I have to still make a decision whether I'll work in this field or if I would complete this full time that's gonna take another year and I can choose to do whatever so if you could still afford to choose that's a luxury and you should not take it for granted you know those successful individuals that you've seen on screen have gone through an immense amount of rejection and failure in their lives that if they let that part define the rest of their journey they wouldn't have achieved all those great amazing things in the end and that's why you shouldn't be discouraged by the outside factors remarks and that's just a blip in the radar okay um you should stand by what you truly believe and you already have it in you and that's why it's planted in your soul Currently, I'm reading Finding the Lost Art of Empathy. I bought this a few years ago, but I never read it until now. Maybe I needed it more now than before.